Brother Simon's 78th article. Christianity is the most dangerous religion in the world. That sure got your attention, didn't it, Mr. and Mrs. Born Again? Go ahead, name another religion, religion which has been hijacked the name of our Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ, in order to enslave billions of people with demonic doctrines of fear. You can't because there's only one, and you, your knee deep in that shit. As Paul, the Apostle of the Nations, tells us in 1 Timothy 15, Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. So tell me, Mr. and Mrs. Borgen, was he successful? If he was, then why the bull bullshit doctrine of hell or eternal conscious torment? Hello, I can't, he I can't hear you. I'll ask you again, was he successful or do you have to do something to earn the salvation which he merely offers, you know, like believing in him? If your answer is yes, then the truth will be told. You are your own savior. Your act is the most important act because you complete Christ's work on the cross. He suffered for six hours on, on the cross, but obviously that wasn't enough. He needs you to finish off his work, even though he said it is accomplished john nineteen thirty. what was accomplished was was there subtext in those three words something along the lines of okay i've done my part it's your turn now i'm sorry my suffering wasn't enough good luck to you believing in me remember though if you don't my father is going to burn you in hell forever that's how vast his love is wow 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 you're you actually fucking believe that don't you even though first jesus said no one can come to me if if ever the Father who sends me should not be drawing him, John six forty four. Paul tells us that God parts to each the measure of faith, Romans twelve three. Paul states, "For in grace through faith are you saved, and this is not out of you; it it is God's approach present, not a works, lest anyone should be boasting." Ephesians two eight through nine, not out of you, not out of work. Paul informs us God wills that all mankind be saved, come to the realization of truth. First Timothy two four. You seriously can't seriously believe someone can can thwart God's will, Mr. and Mrs. Born again. Paul categorically categorically states that we rely on the living God who is the Savior of all mankind, especially believers, first Timothy four ten, especially not exclusively. Mr. and Mrs. Born again, you preach a false Jesus who is only the potential savior. Nearby spin the face of the real Jesus Christ who saved the entire world on the cross. I won't even get started on how you malign and slander the real God by claiming he's going to torture the vast majority of his creation and the fires of hell. Time is running out for you to change your evil beliefs, Mr. and Mrs. Born Again. Get out of Christianity and stop giving heed to deceiving spirits and the teachings of demons. First Timothy 4, 1, and become a believer, also known as the member of the body of Christ and morons united. If you think of a false teacher, ask yourself this. What teaching sounds more demonic? That God's love is so vast he's going to save the entirety of his creation or that God's love is so vast he's going to eternally torture the majority of his creation? It is that simple.